Next, we will measure how high we want these to be. So step your foot on it. Put a measuring tape and see how much you need to be under the ankle, otherwise it's gonna hurt. Now I have the inside a little bit higher than the outside. This doesn't have to be, but it can be. It shouldn't be too big a difference, but it can be a little bit. I have uh, nine centimeters on the inside and 10 on the outside. So I determined how wide I wanted these strips to be in the end, which is uh, in my case three centimeters. Um, so I cut a fabric strip twice that width, so six, and I interfaced it with this fusible interfacing. Next, I ironed it like this. so that they meet in the center. Then I sewed, you can barely see it, sewed down the edges so they can't really come undone anymore. And then this is the measurement for that. Folded it and again sewed it together along the already existing seam but leaving open the top. I think that's also about three centimeters that I left it open. It will come where it's double. It will be along your, your shoe and only one layer is gonna be folded under here like that. We have this part of the shoe measuring off. from here where the, the ring starts under the shoe to the other side where the ring starts. This does not have to be very precise, this measurement. I have 24 centimeters. Forty-five, forty-four. So, I'll explain that to you. At this part of the ring, that first measurement I took, this is where I have the wide fabric. Then my fabric gets narrower, so I can wrap it around here once and go through. This is not as wide, obviously. So we're going to have to sketch it up real quickly. I'll, I'll make sure you'll see that. And I've just measured from, from here around to here. And I said that was 24 centimeters, right? So that's 24. And from the part where I will get more narrow to the outside, I said it was 45, but I'm gonna add some extra, I'm gonna add an, an extra f five, divide that by two because it's coming from two sides. So we go to say 25. It's actually from, from here. So it's the 25. 24 and 25. Now the width. I 
Uh, I have decided I want my finished width to be 10 centimeters on the white part and uh, what I believe was four on the narrow. So now we have to add a few seam allowances. So we add the seam allowance on this one so it becomes 12. We add a seam allowance on this so it becomes 6. If this is 6 and this is 12, it means we have 3 centimeters here and 3 centimeters here. Now you're cutting that shape out twice and you're ironing over the seam allowances of one centimeter. You have to clip in a little bit at the corner. Because these two pieces are going to be laying on top of each other and then top stitched together. But first we're gluing that middle part. So I am back. I've sewn this together. What I did not mention before, but what's important, do not sew together the last 10 centimeter on, on each end. Now comes an exciting part. We get to sort of put on the shoe for the first time. There we go. Pulling it very tightly, position it where you think it's gonna want to be in the end. Okay, and now in the back, determine how why do you need it? We're gonna put in some elastic. So um, have it about, oh, two fingers width tops, wider than you need it, so that you can comfortably go in and out of your shoe. So I'm gonna mark that place. Here and on the other side. So that's where we're gonna wanna sew this together. But we are sewing together. The outside to this outside. For now we're only sewing together these right sides together and the two inside ones right sides together. Okay? I'll do that and be right back. So I'm back. This is what it looks like now. I hope you can see that. The outside is sewn together. The inside is sewn together, but they're still separate. They will in the end be top stitched together, but we are going to put some elastic inside of it. So, you have to Put your foot on it again. Now take a sturdy elastic and pin it to the inside band, the one that's on your foot, uh, in two places. In the very front, I use two pins, and in the very back, pulling it quite tightly, as tight as you're going to want it to be in the end. And then you cut it off, and you're going to fix that with a very tight zigzag stitch up and down where you put in the pins. And then after that, you top stitch the two bands together again. All right, let me show you what that looks like now. It's nicely elastic. You only see these uh, stitches from the elastic on the inside, not on the outside. All right, we're almost done. Now we're marking the fabric and the sole so we know where to glue it in the end. Position everything correctly and mark it on the sole with a pencil and with a pen also on the fabric. And uh, make sure both shoes are the same. So I've marked everything. Uh, also the inside of this so that I know how far up the glue on the fabric is going to have to go. I did that on the inside and on the outside. This is the last time we're actually taking this shoe apart. So, 
I'm going to put glue here up to where I marked and I'm going to put glue here also up to where I marked. Then glue it together carefully and once again compare the two shoes, make sure they're the same. And lastly we're attaching the sole, the very street sole. Now this doesn't have to be in two pieces, I was just saving up on material, I didn't want to use up the big piece. So that's really all you do.